Have you ever noticed how the internet can kind of feel like a giant ocean swarming with digital piranhas? One minute you're checking your emails or reading the news and the next you're bombarded by suspicious pop-ups, weird downloads, or women in your area who want to meet you. Well, if you want to navigate this wild online world, a solid antivirus is your life jacket. Two heavyweights you've probably heard of are Norton and Bitdefender. They both promise top-notch protection, but which one is actually the best fit for your lifestyle? Well, before we dive into the rest of the video, if at any point you guys want to try out Norton or Bitdefender for yourselves, you can check out the links in the description below to get the best available discounts for both providers as well as some trials that we're going to talk about later on in the video. So consider that when you're interested. So Norton's been around the block and knows how to fend off viruses, malware, and shady websites. Its real-time defense basically means it's always on watch for incoming threats, zapping them before they can do any damage. It also uses a constantly updated global network to figure out which files or links are likely to be trouble. In everyday use, like when you're trying to watch an illegal soccer stream, Norton typically steps in right away if something looks off. Bitdefender also fights the good fight. Instead of relying only on a list of known viruses though, it uses machine learning and behavior-based detection to spot weird activity. If an app starts doing something fishy like trying to encrypt all your files without permission, Bitdefender flags and stops it. It also includes a web filter that gives you a heads up if you're about to waltz into a scam site. But the last thing you want is for your antivirus to act like a power-hungry dragon, slowing down your computer to a crawl. Fortunately, Norton usually stays pretty low-key in the background, especially on newer machines. Quick scans are done in a few minutes, while full scans can take longer but generally don't turn your laptop into a space heater. And Bitdefender is also known for being extra efficient. Most people won't even notice it's running. If it starts running, then I'm not sure how it grew legs. Now, quick scans are, as the name suggests, quick and full scans do a thorough job without turning your computer into molasses. If your computer is older, you might appreciate Bitdefender's system optimization tools, which clean up extra files and speed up boot times. Both Norton and Bitdefender do a good job of not being resource hogs. If your PC is fairly modern, you won't probably see a huge difference. On older setups, Bitdefender might feel slightly smoother, but it's a close call. Now, have you ever opened a piece of software and felt like you needed a decoder ring to figure out the settings? Thankfully, Norton's design is the opposite. The dashboard has large icons for key tasks like scanning and turning on the VPN, and you don't have to wade through tech jargon to get things done. If something pops up, like a suspicious file or site, Norton gives you a straightforward alert telling you exactly what's happening. Bitdefender's interface is equally friendly, just with a more slightly modern vibe, I'd say. When you open it, you see at-a-glance info about your current protection status and the results of your last scan. Digging into the advanced settings is simple if you want more control, but everyday stuff like running a quick scan is right there in front of you. They both make antivirus management pretty painless. Norton might feel more classic in a way, while Bitdefender has a slicker look. Either way, you won't need a manual to get your security set up. Furthermore, if you're the kind of person who likes an all-in-one ordeal, Norton definitely piles on the extras. You get a secure VPN for safe browsing on public Wi-Fi, dark web monitoring that warns you if your personal data leaks onto shady corners of the web, and a password manager that can do away with those sticky notes for good. For families, Norton's parental controls make it easier to manage what kids see online. But Bitdefender doesn't skimp on extras either. There is a built-in VPN, although the free version can be be limited plus a password manager and an anti-ransomware module that keeps your critical files from being hijacked. For parents, there are content filters and usage trackers. These add-ons are all baked in pretty seamlessly, so it feels like a well-thought-out toolkit rather than a bunch of random features thrown together. So if identity theft protection and dark web monitoring are high on your must-have list, Norton is tough to beat, especially if you go for its more premium options. Then Bitdefender's range of features should still satisfy most people, Unless you specifically want that deeper ID protection coverage, Norton is known for. And if you do a lot of online banking, you might like Bitdefender's safe pay feature. I personally use it for all of my online banking, and it just gives me a peace of mind when I'm typing in all my sensitive info. Now let's talk about pricing. So Norton occasionally provides a free option for very basic protection, though most people know it best for the year one deals. Whether you choose the entry-level plan or one of the higher-end packages, you'll find everything 
from single device coverage to advanced identity theft monitoring. If your priority is peace of mind and you're comfortable paying a little more in the long run, Norton's top tier plans are hard to beat. Bitdefender also has a free version that covers the essentials for virus detection and removal, but you'll miss out on extras like parental controls or multi-device coverage. Its paid tiers, Antivirus Plus, Internet Security, and Total Security are generally easier on the wallet, even when it's time to renew. Because of the more manageable pricing, a lot of people find Bitdefender a great choice for long-term antivirus protection without breaking the bank. So Norton is a great choice if you're looking for a fully loaded package that doesn't require juggling multiple apps. It bundles antivirus protection with a secure VPN, identity theft alerts, and parental controls. So it covers more ground right out of the gate. In other words, Norton aims to give you that complete peace of mind without you having to hunt down extra add-ons somewhere else. Bitdefender, on the other hand, appeals to to those who want a cleaner, more customizable approach. Its interface is simple and uncluttered, and its threat detection is notably advanced. You can start with the essentials and then pick and choose extra features if and when you need them. This makes Bitdefender especially attractive if you like having the freedom to tailor your security setup to your specific needs. And that just about wraps up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, then consider liking and subscribing. And don't forget about those deals and discounts in the description below, as well as the trials that you'll find by clicking on the links in the description. At any rate, though, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, make sure to take care.